Yo, what's up? Got a uh, quick tutorial I'm gonna try to run through here. And something that kind of surprised me today, I used Microsoft Word to generate code. And all over the internet, everyone's complaining about if you create, um, you know, export a document from Word to HTML, you get a lot of garbage you don't want. Uh, and that may be true uh, in the case of style sheets and stuff, but actually what I'm gonna do here is a little bit different. Um, I'll present you with the problem I had. I was given this uh, listing of 125 um, employees that I needed to create a, a content page, uh, you know, an HTML page with. And the problem was that, uh, you know, I wasn't sure how it was going to be formatted just yet. And I thought, you know, if I do it once and it's not quite right, I'm going to have to go back and change quite a bit, even with. Um, you know, find replace um, wizardry, it, it would still be annoying. And, and I knew that I might actually have to repurpose it a couple of times too. So um, basically, I'm going to use like a sample here. So these are the US presidents. So this is a spreadsheet. Um, I actually initially got a Word document, which I then converted to a spreadsheet. Um, you know, I took all the names and, and put the data there. So that took a while. But um, it was worth the time to do all that uh, because then I was able to um, solve this problem as far as generating um, HTML. And, and it ended up going into SharePoint, right? So I didn't necessarily have access to style sheets and that for formatting. Um, so you saw the spreadsheet there. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Mail Merge to actually generate some, uh, some code. So I'm going to start with a new document in Word here. And uh, just do a new blank document. And um, just so you know, I've I've actually turned off smart quotes here. That's uh, some of the auto format, auto correct options in in Word's options. So if you do do this, if you don't copy paste from somewhere else, you may need to do that. Um, so basically, I want to make uh, a little bit of HTML, and what that's going to do is. Uh, it's going to be placeholders for this bit of data. So let's pretend we want to feature all the US presidents. We want to show their name in bold, and then maybe a bit of uh, trivia about them, and then the link to their Wikipedia page. So I'm just going to do a snippet of HTML. This is exactly like I did um, some bios of some employees a little while ago. So let's start with uh, the headline, headline two. OK, I'll leave that empty, and then I'll do a P tag. And in here, um, so the headline is going to be the name. P tag is going to have the bit of trivia, and also I'm um, going to have after the trivia the link to the um, Wikipedia page. So I'm sort of thinking about this ahead of time. It's really easy in hindsight, right? But um, it's actually not too difficult to do. So again, headline. So let's just simulate it. So this is going to be the name. So George Washington, right? And then in here it's gonna be like cherry tree blah blah, um, and after the after the line break, then um, Wikipedia link, and, and that'll be an actual URL. So, and uh, going back to the spreadsheet, that we got the URL in a column, we got the first and last name in columns. There's our trivia. Okay, so I'm gonna close out of the spreadsheet. It's probably best make sure and save it by the way. Um, so let me remove the actual text. Get our blank area there. So um, let's go to mailings and let's go to start mail merge. And then we're going to go to step by step mail, word, mail merge of wizard. So here, um, what type of document? Letters is fine. Um, and uh, just note like what's going to happen is it's going to take all the fields and generate a big Word document with a bunch of pages. And, uh, but it doesn't create any extra spaces or extra lines, so you'll be able to go right into an HTML editor. So let's go to um, letters and start document. Let's use the current document and go to next. Um, select recipients. It's kind of weird. It's not really recipients, but whatever. We're cheating. We are generating code. And then I'm going to go to my source file, which is here and then here and then here. There's my source file. All right, looks good, cool. All right, and that's the tab um, or table, you know, same thing basically. 
Um, so here, uh, you don't actually have to keep this open. Uh, this is, now that I've seen that this is confirming the data source, I can actually click OK to that. And then now I actually have um, access to the fields that were part of it. So in the H2, I want to do the first and last name. So, you know, George Washington, right? It's so a first name. So I'm going to place my cursor, make sure it's there, insert field first name. And notice it's like that double bracketed thing. And I'm going to do a space, insert field, last name. Cool. All right. So it's coming out of the paragraph area. Let's go to insert field. And here will be the trivia. So, or this could be, you know, a biography paragraph about an employee or whatever. Or um, a URL to a photo. So that's another thing that could um, be really useful if you're doing some uh, more complex HTML. Um, it's getting all the photo URLs in there. You just need the photo names, um, you know, as part of the spreadsheet. And then um, we're going to do the link. So let's type in a href equals, and then close it. Okay. So every single one of these is going to say, or every single entry is going to say Wikipedia page. And then for the URL, go to insert merge field URL cool alright so now we've got this um, what would normally be used to create a custom letter it's gonna generate some code for us so this is um, this is the, the raw so to speak look of it remove that extra space we want a space there don't need a space space there good everything's closed alright so let's click on preview results Oh, there's George Washington, and there's the, the trivia thing, and then there's his URL. Let's uh, go up here and click through. Oh, it looks good. It's coming in order because I didn't adjust any sorting, uh, change any of that when I imported it. And then next thing we want to do is, uh, let's see, we got to finish and merge. And then we want to go to edit individual documents. So basically, and notice when you hover over it it's it's merged to new document in a, in a previous or another version of, of word it actually says merge to a new document which is uh, logical here so it's going to generate a brand new file put all these uh, snippets in it of each entry so there's 42 or something of the presidents let's do that merge records all hit OK alright so this was really fast alright what we have is a new document called letter to and if we scroll through it, they're all there. Let me just back up a little bit and show you. So that's all the code snippets for each of those. And even though it's all on one page here, these aren't extra line spaces. So when I select it, I'm going to select that code. Then I'm going to open up, uh, let's say, Dreamweaver, or if I'm using you know, a content management system or SharePoint or something, um, I'm going to go into the code view of Dreamweaver though, paste it. Okay, there's all my code pasted, generated. And then let's look at the preview. Do we have a preview here? I think we have a little mistake in Dreamweaver here, really. That's interesting. There we go. Just a little bit of a Dreamweaver preview problem there. Um, so here is my generated code. Now, you could probably think of other ways to do this, but just keep in mind, like you don't always have access to, say, creating classes and, and things like that in um, in your in the content management system you're working with. You may have to do this a couple of times uh, in order to get it right, and just all those reasons just made this um, kind of trick that I figured out today really useful because. I couldn't think of any other quick local data source that I could generate HTML with um, and, and create a template for that HTML. Um, now, of course, you know maybe Dreamweaver does it with, with Excel, I don't know, but I was really stoked to see that Word does it using the mail merge feature. So um, yeah, from here you might paste the code somewhere else. You know, you could gen create an HTML email um, using the same method, um, you know, if you needed to put a lot of data in an email. Or, because as you know, with with HTML emails, it's there's a lot of table code, uh, a lot of static stuff, and uh, this is a really great way to generate that. So that's all I got. Thanks a lot for uh, you know listening in and uh, having.
have a good day.